Born in Marseille, Hernandez joined Atletico Madrid's academy in 2007, aged 9. After progressing through the youth categories, he was promoted to the reserves in Tercera Division in summer 2015. On 3 February 2016, Hernandez renewed his contract. Two days later, he was called up to the first team for a La Liga match against Ibar due to injuries, but remained an unused substitute in the 3-1 home win. On 4 August 2016, Hernandez extended his contract until 2021, being immediately loaned to fellow league club Deportivo Alaves for one year. He made his professional debut late in the month, starting in a 0-0 home draw with Sporting de Gijón. On 16 October 2016, Hernandez was given a straight red card in a 1-1 home draw to Malaga after a hard tackle on Ignacio Camacho. He scored his first professional goal the following 7 May, netting the game's only goal in a home victory over Athletic Bilbao. A regular starter during the Basque team's run in the Copa del Rey, Hernandez helped them reach the final for the first time in their 91-year history. During the decisive match on 27 May 2017, he scored the equaliser through a direct free kick in an eventual 1-3 loss against Barcelona. Hernandez celebrating after winning the 2017-18 UEFA Champions League with Real Madrid. On 5 July 2017, Hernandez signed a six-year deal with Real Madrid after they met his release clause of €24 million. Euros. He made his competitive debut on 16 August, replacing Marco Asensio in a 2-0 home win against Barcelona for that year's Supercopa de España. Hernandez made three appearances during the 2017-18 edition of the UEFA Champions League, helping the club win its third consecutive and 13th overall title in the competition. On 10 August 2018, he was loaned to Real Sociedad. On 7 July 2019, Hernandez joined Serie A club AC Milan in a deal worth maximum of €20 million. Euros. The transfer was approved and carried out by Paolo Maldini, who met with him informally in Ibiza to persuade him to join. Hernandez made his debut on 21 September, playing 18 minutes in the 2-0 defeat against Inter Milan in the Derby della Maddalena. He scored his first goal for the Rossoneri on 5 October, helping the visitors come from behind to win 2-1 at Genoa. During his first season with Milan he managed to score seven goals in all competitions and had three assists. On 23 December 2020, Hernandez's 93rd-minute winning goal gave AC Milan a victory over Lazio to keep them top of Serie A. During the 2020-21 season, Hernandez was the only defender in the top five European leagues to have scored two braces. He was also the defender with the most successful dribbles in Serie A that season with 73. During his second season with the team, he managed to score eight goals and assisted seven in all competitions. On 6 January 2022, Hernandez wore the captain's armband for the first time against Roma. Three days later, he scored a brace in a 3-0 win against Venezia, becoming first defender to score at least three braces in AC Milan Serie A history. On the 11th of February, Hernandez renewed his contract with Milan until 2026. On 15 May 2022 against Atalanta, Hernandez ran for 95 metres before scoring the second goal of a 2-0 win. A week later, Milan were crowned with their first Serie A title in 11 years. Hernandez's contributions were five goals and six assists, the most for any defender in Serie A that season. On 25 October 2023, Hernandez for the first time faced his older brother, Lucas, as an opponent playing competitive senior football in the UEFA Champions League group stage away game against Paris Saint-Germain, a 3-0 loss for Milan. The two faced each other once again two weeks later, with Milan prevailing 2-1 at home and Theo assisting the winning goal scored by Olivier Giroud. On 2 December 2023, amidst injury crisis in Milan's central defence, Theo volunteered to play as a centre-back for the first time in his senior career and was highly praised for his performance by the Italian football media as Milan won 3-1 against Frosinone. On 26 April 2018, he received his first call to the France senior squad. He made his debut on 7 September 2021 in a World Cup qualifier against Finland, a 2-0 home victory. He started and played the whole game. 
In October 2021, ahead of the UEFA Nations League semi-finals against Belgium, Theo for the first time received a call-up to the national team from Didier Deschamps together with his brother Lucas, the two were later fielded in the 3-4-1-2 formation as a left centre-back and a left wing-back, respectively, making it the first time they played together in a senior competitive game. On 7 October, he scored a late-time winner in the 3-2 victory against the aforementioned opponent, sending his team to the final for the first time in history of the tournament. In November 2022, he was named in the final squad for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. On 14 December, he scored a goal in a 2-0 win over Morocco in the semi-final, 